hi good morning everybody it's about that time again in the garden so um, last week um, we are buried um, my mother's sister and we are at the graveside and um, a cousin of mine was standing next to me and as the coffin was going down a lot of us got emotional right and um, I looked at my cousin and and she is having a hectic moment and I was just like Lord this is like what what do you do because I'm I'm crying you know it's like snot and trana everywhere and um, I also need to encourage her so you know you you look for the tissue um, you 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 try and console so I, I couldn't do anything but hold her you know so I put my hand around her waist and hold her because I'm also crying um, and after after the coffin um, had been placed in the ground I started to talk to her and I I'd asked her because I just sensed there was like just more to the grief um, and, and, and she said you know she on that day so it was last week Tuesday she had to bury an aunt the following day her mother's cousin had to be buried and on the Thursday her cousin had to be buried and I was like what like how do you work through that how do you even begin to accept that level of grief like three funerals in one week has that ever it's never happened to me and I pray to God it doesn't happen to me but um, yeah I was just like you know when you think you are going through a tough time there's others that could be going through worse or also a tough time like there isn't a measure of what is worse for you or then for others because everybody deals with situations differently but this morning I want us to just step out of ourselves just for a moment, just for a moment, not to think about ourselves, but to encourage others with the word. In 1 Thessalonians 5 verses 11 it says, Therefore encourage one another and build each other up, just as in fact you are doing. It's, it's, it's not as difficult as it may seem just to encourage somebody with the word a compliment um, to lift them up because that is essentially what we have been called to do I trust that whatever you are going through now that you know that you are not alone even when man cannot be there always to encourage you God is so reach out to him spend time with him and you can have a go waterworks everything before the father because he says and accepts you just the way that you are. Come as you are before the Father. Have a lovely day. Bye.